fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, it got a little chilly here down in South Jersey. It was about 29 degrees last night. I have uh, about 14 boxes to ship tomorrow. Not sure they're going to go out. Uh, I have to really think about the weather. And the reason is, I don't mind shipping if it's in the 40s at night, even in the upper 30s at night, because the boxes are in a uh, temperature control facility. The only problem is when they're on the truck being ready to be delivered. And on Wednesday, at least in my area, it's supposed to be in the upper 30s. That's a little too cold for me to have some boxes on the truck. So I gotta see where these boxes are going and what's going on and decide if I wanna ship them. All right, enough about my shipping dilemmas from michaelsfishroom.com. Before we get started in the video, the meat and potatoes of the video, if you will, do me a favor, go ahead and just annihilate the subscription button. And then just gently caress the notification bell. Think about that. Gently caress. In today's video, we are gonna go ahead and uh, talk about what's new in Michael's Fish Room. I just got back from Japan about a week ago. Uh, before that was A&E, and, &E, and there, was a, there have been a few changes or upgrades in the fish room. I just want to go over them for you. First and foremost, I'd like to talk about a box that was given to me at the Aquatic Experience from Mr. Greg Jones, uh, one of the founders of My Aquarium Box. He and I talk every now and again uh, on email or messenger. He happens to drive a Subaru as well, and so we talk about that. We talk about my website. We talk about my aquarium box and so on and so forth and we become pretty good friends I would say. So if you haven't already, check out Greg Jones, link somewhere in this general area. And um, the last time I watched one of his videos, uh, probably about a week and a half ago, it was like number 596 or something. He, he numbers um, some of his videos and so that's a lot of videos, he's been doing a long time pretty smart, uh, does things a little bit differently than me, but that's okay. At any rate, if you haven't checked out Greg Jones, go ahead and do that now. So let's see what's in this box. I know that it's Pleco Caves. I just don't know what they look like. Um, he was very kind to give me some Pleco Caves after watching one of my videos talking about Pleco Caves and the Pleco guy. Remember the Pleco guy from the Keystone Clash? Maybe I'll put a link here for that one too. Um, I caught a lot of heat for the Pleco Cave guy. Just tell them like it is, people. If you don't like it, don't watch. All right, let's see what we got, folks. We have some Pleco keys wrapped very nicely by Mr. Greg. Got to open the man knife again because the bubble wrap is all taped. Maybe I'll fast forward this part so you guys can uh, not be bored to death, but that's a nice looking Pleco key. So here's what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to open all these Pleco caves up in fast motion and then show you what they look like. So um, while it's in fast motion, just stand by. All right, fishy folks, we're gonna put the knife away because we don't wanna cut our finger off. This is the man knife that was sent to me by a very nice subscriber that I use all the time now. Uh, so we'll put that away for now. We'll move this nice little box, which if I had to guess, this is what my aquarium box comes in. Not really sure. This looks pretty cool though. I don't do the my aquarium box, it's just not my thing, but it might be yours. Anyway, let's check out these Pleco caves. The first is this cylinder. Uh, I don't know. A couple inches diameter. It is cracked, but I don't think that's a function of packing. It looks like it was chipped to begin with. So there's a neat little tube. Uh, and then just this standard one. It's got like a little hood, if you will. Um, it's tapered at the end, which the Pleco's like. Not so sure it's going to be big enough for what I have, but he didn't know that, so I really appreciate it. I will try it. I will be putting in some Pleco uh, tanks. Then another smaller one, also tapers in the end. Now these three are pretty cool. Uh, we have this style, so it kind of looks like an A-frame or a triangle. But the cool thing is the back comes off, so probably you can check for eggs if you wanted to. Um, I like that, I really do. There's another one like that, it's a different color, maybe a little smaller in diameter, same thing, the end comes off. 
And then the final one that he gave me is a, a square one, which I don't have any of. And also, the back pops off so you can check for eggs. So Greg, I really appreciate it. Check out uh, My Aquarium Box and Greg Jones on Facebook. Uh, really nice guy, doing great things. Just partnered with uh, Michael Eugenio from Arizona, the better guy. Green Oasis Farms uh, is his website also for plants. Check that out. All right, now I did buy two things in Japan for myself, for the fish room, obviously. And uh, one of the things I wanted, first I gotta start, if you saw the goldfish video, they had these ginormous box filters. I wanted to buy one. Luckily I didn't because I had no room in my luggage going back. I probably would have shipped it. But anyway, I wanted to buy one, but I couldn't find one for sale at that goldfish store. And uh, after that goldfish store, I didn't go to any other fish stores while I was there. So I'll be back, uh, I think in June, possibly in February. Anyway, that's a long story. Well, next time I go back to Japan, I'm going to try to plan and buy one of those big uh, sponge, or I mean box filters, um, and I'll put them either in Chewy's tank or down in uh, Han and Leia's tank, just because I think they're cool as heck, and they probably do a great job. But here's what I did by myself. I did buy myself another large uh, Japanese box filter. Um, I, I bought these before. There's probably an unboxing video somewhere that, you know, maybe I could link here for you. Uh, but it's pretty simple. It's it's got like rocks on the bottom to weigh it down and to hold bacteria And then it's got um, like a corrugated sponge Sort of in the shape of a star um, With lots of pleats if you will and there's carbon inside. I use the carbon for a little while maybe and then I throw it away, but uh, and actually when the sponge gets disintegrated because it does break down over time I usually just put floss in there um, I thought for sure, I thought I bought the refills because I thought that would be neat to do also. Uh, of course, I didn't buy them. I did buy this at that first Japanese fish store, the real small mom and pop one. Um, I'll put a link also here. There's a lot of links in this video. I don't normally do that, but anyway, click the links. Click them, folks. Um, they were super nice. They actually commented on the video, so that's pretty cool. At any rate, large Japanese box filter. And I did buy a present for somebody, I don't want to mention his name, um, but he's part of a team that's royalty that has to do with cichlids, so if you know who I'm talking about, Scott King and Queen Cichlids, then, you know, next time I see him, I got a present for him. What I did buy myself was this Hakari Guppy Food, and again, not a ginormous fan of Hakari in the U.S., just think the ingredients aren't as great as uh, they could be, um, for at least my purposes. Uh, but this is like their premier line in Japan. They don't sell it here, I don't believe. And 48% uh, protein. So, pretty excited. Can't wait to try it. I will, of course, show you when I try it. We're not going to try it today because everybody's being fasted for um, shipping purposes. If you're not sure about shipping, I fast my fish at least two days before I ship them. This way, when they're in the bag, if they they will poop and pee much less, which will deteriorate the water uh, quicker if they do poop and pee. So this way there's less ammonia in the water. I know that was a long way to go. I just want to say poop and pee in a video. All right, fishy folks, there is one more thing uh, new in the fish room that I want to show you, but I have to take the camera off the stand, so stand by. All right, fishy folks, this is the latest thing. I, I sort of debuted it in the last video, but this is a uh, Mr. Heater ventless natural gas heater, 30,000 BTU. And it's got a thermostat, that's why it has the plug down there. Um, so that when the room temperature gets to a certain point, it shuts off and all you see is the pilot light. And up until then, it's got that sort of blue flame um, burning to create heat. And you know, the heat comes out of here. Now there is a fan you can add, which I was considering doing, but the uh, fan reviews of the fan <laughs> were pretty poor, so I may just get a fan and, and mount it somehow up there just to blow the air down towards the door, if you will. But here's the Mr. Heater, 30,000 watt, 30,000 BTU heater. And it doesn't actually have a temperature on the dial, it's just got numbers. So I have it set in between two and three, kinda. And uh, let's just, gently spin over here 
Hi, Chewy. And you can see it's about 85 degrees in the fish room. And obviously heat rises, so uh, those tanks up there are a little bit warmer. I would say the water temperature here using my calibrated methods is probably about 82, 83 degrees. And here we got about 80. And uh, you know, down here also about 79, 80. So I do want that fan to circulate the air because certainly you can feel the difference as you walk towards the, uh, towards the curtain, if you will. So uh, let me just show you. So there's the heater. If we turn this way, tanks. There's my, where I was filming. And there's the curtain, which is about 18 feet away. So uh, that's really it. Oh, there is one new thing in the fish room also. It's not really new, but uh, this Aquion LED light I bought uh, for when I do shows so I can light all my tanks. I have like four 10 gallon tanks I put, you know, right next to each other. And so that'll go over the four tanks and light the fish. But, um, I figured I might as well use it for Chewy's tank. Before, I just used uh, that cheap LED that's just kind of hanging there. I'll probably move that somewhere else or maybe just disconnect it all together. Um, but so this LED is now lighting Chewy's tank and look how spectacular his cock looks. Look at it, folks. Look at his cock. Take a good look at his cock because I'm not gonna show it anymore in this video. All right, fishy folks, hope everyone has a great Sunday, and uh, don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com, and I uh, hope you have a great day. Um, and of course, I will show you when I try. In fact, we're going to not try it today. <laughs> In fact, um, yeah, I just made the same mistake twice.